What is up, dudes and dudettes? Thank you all so much for joining me here today on the Ramble SMP server. Guys, last episode, we went ahead and set this thing up. Oh, man, we drained it. Uh, I haven't done anything else really since we drained it. Well, I have mapped out what we're doing today. Um, but we're, we, we got some villagers from, uh, Emradorn. Yeah, so we're gonna be going ahead and putting them over here. I've designed a little area. Now, let's go ahead and take a quick peek. So if we come on down here, as you can see, we have this kind of archway, right? So very important, we're gonna have this archway. This is what's gonna be at the top. And then it's gonna go down an additional 10 blocks. And that's where all the villagers are gonna be. So this is gonna be a really cool, uh, the water feature, I guess, but it does mean we have to move a geode, which I'm not too happy about. I wish I could turn this into a farm because it's so close to our base, but I really want the villagers out here. Um, or do I? Let me... I didn't even think about that. I could totally, you know, move this to maybe be over on this side. Um... Oh, yeah, and then I can have the geode farm for Amethyst. Hmm, well, would you look at that? That's a pretty good idea, if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, so this thing's going to be at least 90 blocks long, uh, just for the villager trader. We're going to have a breeder in this thing as well. Uh, kind of like a dome tower, or sorry, like it's more like a tower with a dome on top of it at the end. Um... But yeah, we're going to be getting into that because we desperately need to get some villager trades going. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead. We'll probably keep this and we'll find a way to incorporate the geode into this little structure here. Uh, but I'm going to mirror this over there. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and have a good time. guys so we uh we've cleared out a whole bunch of space here if the the keen eye of you guys would notice something that is right we have elytra we've opened up the end um yeah pretty crazy really awesome we got shulker boxes now uh yeah it's been great i i'm gonna put some clips up of us playing uh or not really playing but uh freeing the end of the ender dragon and then we'll come back here and work on some villager stuff 
So yeah, I uh, met up with a bunch of the guys. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any of the uh, sound from the Discord call we were all in because I was set up to chat through the re or the the team chat we had mod that we have on the server. Uh, but unfortunately, that I wasn't set up for the Discord, so I didn't get any of that. Uh, but I met up with the dudes. We all hopped into a boat because the uh, Eyes of Ender were taking us out into the ocean. Uh, so we all hopped into there. Um, it was great. We had uh, everyone, you know, pairs of two in the boats. Uh, it was a, a really, really fun time hanging out with them. I wish I had some of the audio from it. Um, but then after that, uh, we all gathered up around the portal. Um, and I ended up being the first one through there, uh, which was kind of crazy. Um, and then we ended up uh, uh, kind of shooting up the dragon. And I somehow got the kill on there. Uh, which was, uh, again, pretty crazy. Uh, and then I went ahead and grabbed a, an Elytra and then actually a couple others after that. All right, so yes, that was all of the clips of getting the Elytra. Very, very cool. Um, but we have quite a bit of glass here. Now, this definitely isn't going to be what the block palette is. Um, we're going to have a bunch of different villager trading halls here, our trading cells, I guess you could call them. Uh, like this with a villager behind so there's gonna be a heck ton of villagers that we need to get for this project So we're gonna need a villager breeder obviously um, So yeah, each one of those is gonna be filled in we're gonna have the, another one up top and we have a total of eight of these Cells going with the villager breeder at the back now. I don't really know I'm gonna do back there Just yet. I might come back to it later, but we're gonna probably leave that for a while make this look good and then we'll see about that. But let yeah, let's go ahead and get a breeder in. Um, haven't haven't got any um, any gunpowder farms, so no no creeper farms. So rockets are scarce on the server right now. Um, I've been trading things for them. So what we're gonna need is some beds. Now I don't know why I'm looking here. I know I don't have any. We gotta go back to the base. And look at this, it's so great. One rock can get us all the way back to the starter base, it's so great. And now that we're here, we do need a bit of wool. Um, I think I have enough, we just need three beds. So I'm gonna make some shears and we're gonna go find some sheepums and we're gonna shear them up. All right, we got our first two guys over here. Ooh, three right there, look at that one bed. Come here. All right, we're up to seven. We just need two more now. Oh, you want to regrow? <gasps> Bam, look at that. That was super duper easy. Now let's go craft some beds. All right, we're going to make them um, blue beds because underwater, you know, that equals blue, right? That makes sense? Everyone's on the same page? I'm glad. I'm glad we're all on the same page. Perfect. So we have that here. We're going to need some trap doors. Uh, yeah, we'll just use oak trap doors because we can't. And we can only make two. We need some more wood. All right, cool. Now we have too many, but that's okay. We're also, do we have any good light sources? Maybe from the nether? Nope, I didn't grab any glowstone. Um, light blocks. All right, we can go ahead and make a prismarine or a sea lantern. I think that's what, yeah, that's what it's called. We'll make one of those. That will be the block that will keep everything lit. We're gonna put the villagers on top of that. Um, so what we're going to do is I, I have a micro farm set up for carrots because uh, we do have the bone meal that we can make, but uh, we don't really have a good spot for these guys. And unfortunately, the method I have is an even or an odd number, and this is an even room because that that's even. So we're going to have to do this sideways and i gotta we gotta make sure everything is correct so what we need to do is put some lights on the walls so we can kind of dial this thing in a little bit let's just place one more cool hey you get on the wall okay so the beds this is not permanent we gotta move these up because we're gonna be dropping the villagers here so the bed whoa that was weird the beds need to be placed kind of like this and then the platform uh, it's gonna be here with the trap doors like this and they'll stand on that so this is the essential farm uh, so we have one block from here and we have two from here great um, 
I think if we move this over one block, it'll look good. It'll look betterer. Okay, yeah, so I think this is gonna be the best bet for us. Uh, and then we're gonna come up, let's see here. Yeah, well, this is where we'll have the sea lantern on this block here. We'll have water at the bottom, you know, pushing the villagers over so that they don't get hurt. And let's grab these blocks. There we go. So now the task is to get both villagers here. Uh, but I also do need two more trapdoors because we need to have it so that the villagers are not able to escape, uh, but the babies can get kind of pushed out. So I might have to go back to the base real quick. Yo, a double stack. That's cool. Okay, guys, so we're going to go ahead and make those trap doors out of these warped planks. I think these will look a lot better uh, than what we were going to do. Uh, and I also went ahead and grabbed a couple of the warped fungus and then the crimson fungus as well. So we'll be able to grow the trees here in the overworld and then we'll be able to use these uh, much more. But I figured these would go much better with the sea lanterns than the oak trap doors. So that's what we're going to be using. It's going to be great. I'm very excited. Man, um... Yep, there's been a lot that's gone on, on the server uh, that uh, is kind of crazy. Uh, what I mean by that is um, Emradon has Unbreaking 3 and Mending, so we kind of got to catch up to that guy. He has been moving. Um, so we're going to do this. This is where, well, yeah, that's where those trap doors will be. Oops. Yeah, that looks so much better than the oak. I'm glad that we're making that change. We can go ahead and break these beds too. And then we will go up. Let's see. So block. Is it here? Yeah, it's here. Cool. So then we place another bed here and another bed here. Ooh, no, that's too close. There we go. Okay, that's where we need it. Perfection. And then we will place just some temporary glass blocks like this. So now the villagers are... Oh, that's that's not it. The villagers are unable to escape. They, for some reason, don't want to jump there because they think that this is a full block. Uh, but we will go ahead and give them a little reason... Uh, to not jump, and that's put a trap door above their head uh, for one to eliminate spawns, possibly, even though we have no reason for them to spawn any monsters in here, but we're not going to take any chances. So the next thing is to get villagers into this spot. <clears throat> I'm very... Uh, worried is not the correct term, but I'm... I'm not confident in villager AI that makes sense. So I got to put these guys in a boat. We're going to get them down here. Uh, hopefully without dying. I think I can do it. We got a big slime. Let's kill him. Huh. Huh. Ooh, we got four medium slimes. Ah, ah, frick. I don't like killing the small ones because I like having all the slimes jump around me. It's fun. It's like, I am your green master. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna go get the villagers, and we're gonna probably, probably gonna make this a water source, or like a, I'm gonna put water in it, you know, so that we can fall into that and the villagers won't take damage, because I'm pretty sure villagers take damage through boats, if I do remember correctly, and I'm not gonna really risk it for any kind of biscuit, you know what I mean? Oh, I already got three iron on me. This is a bucket. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so this is what I got here. We're going to get the villagers all the way over here. This should lift us up enough so that we can make it over on top of this. And then we'll just kind of go over here, drop down onto this area with the boat so the villagers shouldn't take any damage. And then we're going to boat the villager all the way. Uh, let's see. We're going to move this real quick. 
We're gonna boat the villager here, right? And then we have some glass over here so that hopefully once I get the villager in there, I can break it. And the only place he can go is over here. Now I just realized he can probably escape through this. So what we'll do is we'll make this a little too tall for him to get out. Okay. So eventually he'll probably wander and fall into that area. And then I assume his AI shouldn't allow him to do anything dumb after that. Now these are villagers. Uh, they've been known to not behave as they're supposed to. Um, so we're gonna put in a couple of contingency plants. So we're gonna have this glass come out a little bit more just in case the villager, say we break the boat and he spawns here, we will be able to um, you know, like break this block and then push him over. So that shouldn't be an issue, but we're gonna go ahead and try it with the first villager now, and we'll see how that goes. All right, so we got our villagers here. Uh, now we're gonna just, you know, chisel a hole out this way, and yeah, make a make a an area to escape and go over here. So with that, I'm gonna put these trap doors here so that hopefully nothing bad happens to my villagers when I'm not here. But let's go ahead, grab this guy, and we'll be on our way. Or not. Now we'll be on our way. Yay. All right, I'm gonna get out. I, I don't feel, I really don't wanna have to get other villagers, so. Yeah, these temporary blocks will be there. Okay, let's go on over. Got our guy? We sure do. On our way. All right, so step number one is we're gonna, gonna ram into this. Oh. Why did that happen? Why are you sinking? Well, I mean, we can get him back in the boat. Oh, this is bad. Okay, we got him in. Whew. So we did it. Oh, but we got a big slime. Um. So is this it? Yeah, this is the drop. Okay, please. Please aim. Oh. Okay. Is he good? He's good. But we got a skeleton. Dude! You shot my villager! What a jerk! Dude! You actually shot him! I was really hoping that would not happen. Alright, more slime balls acquired. Let's get back here. And I desperately, I think it's up here that's having the problem with the lighting issues. Um, but that's okay. All right, now we make this long TD. It's not really that long. This is perfectly fine. Interesting process over here. All right, now for the moment of truth, right? He's not going to take any suffocation because it's glass. Then we're going to hit, what is it? F3. Um, hit boxes. I hit it twice, I think. Nope. F3B is what we want. Oh, not that. Okay, so now we can't actually hit him. Um, so I'm going to boop him. There we go. Villager. Dude. Oh, dude. You're pushing me the wrong way. So now we can get back here and push the villager. He's going to go. He's going to go that way. Bro. Bro. Bro, you want to go this way. Yes, this is your new home. Dude, you don't want to do that. Trust me. Have this light die. Dude, you pushed me out again. Frick. Go this way. Oh, we went in. Frick yeah. Okay. So all we got to do now is get the next one. Cool. Well, yeah, I like that you have those things going on. 
Come on, buddy. We got some big plans for you. Freedom there. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to try this again. Oh, no, we're sinking. Okay, well, I need that boat. Alright, so there's a pretty good chance he's going to go... Yeah, you are exactly what we don't need in the area. Oh, frick. But, uh, dolphin, that's bad. Alright, so he's probably making his way over here. Come on. Why are you making your way towards me? No, don't go over there. Come on. Yes! Perfect. Oh, that was a little sketch. Okay. I'm going to do something a little different here. Yeah. Well, we don't want to fall there. We'll, we'll do this real quick. All right, yeah. So everything underneath this is good. So all we got to do is fall and go back. Yes. He's okay. Am I okay? I don't know. Might, maybe. I might be okay. <laughs> All right, so we got him down here. That was a lot easier than I thought, uh, except for that little boat problem up at the top, because he was a little bit more hesitant to kind of come down here. But we're good. We're making progress. We'll have the villager here, and we'll encase him in, like, cobblestone or something so we can start the process of these guys, uh, like, breeding them up. So that'll be, that'll be interesting. Okay, so we make the turn. All right, we're fully in. F3B. Come on, just fall in. Just fall in there. <gasps> yes! They're in! They're in! None of them died! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Guys, we are good to go. Okay. We are so good to go. F3B, get that out of here. Villager breeder is done. All we got to do is remove these blocks and give them food. Um... Yeah, and they'll be good to go. Now, I don't know how important it is to have that trap door up top. I might replace it with a glass block, and then we'll shoot food at them from the back, and it'll hit the glass block so that they're able to give it, like, like throw it to each other. Um, but, yeah, they are on the sea lantern, so nothing can possibly spawn there. Uh, zombies, if they try to get to them, will now fall. Oh, this is great. This This plan worked out much better than I thought it would. All right, so here's my little micro farm. All we do is we just do that. And we just click. And as you can see, we're getting a lot. We have a bunch of bone meal still in here. So we're good. Going to fill up a bunch of uh, stuff with this. And then we'll be good to go. All right, so let's see if we can get this working. I don't know if we'll be able to, you know, like right away. Uh, but let's see. If I toss this here, can they get it? They sure can. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to toss a stack there. And they should, yep, they're already tossing it to each other. Okay, good. Now he's got some. Oop, yep, that worked perfect. It slid off. The other villager was able to grab it, so I'll toss that stack. Oh, that didn't. Okay, so now they both got a lot of carrots. Have some more carrots. And then if we go like this, I think I'm throwing too many carrots, but I don't care. I think the other one's grabbing it. If I do this, will he be able to? Dude, let the other guy grab it. Okay, what about over there? Yes. Let's get the angle right. Nope, it's still not right. Still not right. There we go. Give it a toss. Perfect. Okay, so now they have they both have a bunch. Oh, yep, we got the hearts. They have the beds. Oh, they haven't slept yet, have they? Oh, <gasps> it worked! It worked! It worked! We have a baby villager, guys! Oh my gosh! Hi! How are you? How are you doing today? Are you doing well? You are awesome! Yes! Villager breeder is a go! Oh man, is there anywhere? Oh, he can just walk right out. Well, didn't think that through. 
It'll probably die. It's okay. But the villager breeder works, though we might try to trap him in here. Because uh, the villagers are going to go back here. We're going to have trap doors up above for when they grow up. So as long as he can't get out of here, he shouldn't be able to die. He's trapped. Where'd he go? Dude, he was in there. He wants to go in there. Go, bro, go in there. No, don't go that way. Bro, go back in. You were doing so well. Do you want to be my first comp, like, farmer villager? That's not a spot. You can't go in there. That'll look cool. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to completely wall this up to a point where nothing can get in. Oh, I also need to get some torches. Otherwise, things could spawn on the top, and that would be very bad. Do I have? I don't have any coal here. Great. All right, so these are the the two most important villagers right now. Um, so we desperately need to make sure that these guys are safe and cannot be killed in any way possible. Because well, if I'll be honest, we if he got if he dies, yeah, well, I'll be sad. But we can always, you know, make another one. <laughs> that feels really like evil to say. But uh, it's true. Like, if he dies, that I'll be really sad. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's all right. But if these one of these two, oh, man, that's going to be tough. Be tough to recover. So we need to make sure nothing can get in there. And, I mean, even at this point, nothing could get in there. Uh, but we're going to make sure. All right. So they are, they are pretty much good. Now it's time for the glass. We're just going to bring this border up as well. Okay, yeah, nothing can get in here now, which is great. Okay, so glass all the way up here. Now nothing can possibly, well, I mean, we could always seal it off. I've got silk touch. We got to make sure these guys are safe. There's, we can't take any chances whatsoever. So we will put the glass above them, which is a little, you know, redundant at this point. But uh, you can never be too careful. All right. So these guys are 100% good to go. Looks like they're about to breed again. Really? Oh, no. One of them got mad. Oh, another one got mad. All right. So that looks rather interesting from here. So we got... Uh, you know, one block from that side. Ooh, that is centered. That whole thing is technically centered, which is great. How are you doing? He's doing good. I bet you, I bet you want to go in there. You know? Yeah, I'll light it up better for you in here. Yeah, how's that? That good? That's okay. All right. All right, so what we're going to do here in a later episode is we're going to have these villagers get pushed over to here. This will probably go down a block in the middle at some point. And then we'll kind of, you know, take them back here. And then we'll be able to call the villagers either left or right. So we'll hit a button. It'll switch to this side. We'll hit a button over here, and it'll switch to this side. And then it will deliver a villager to us. Now, can I time this just right? No. Okay, let's try again. Ah. So yeah, over here will be where the villagers get dispensed. Uh, so we'll have a big wall here like this. And it'll be solid there, though. I might push this wall one back because I do want more depth. Maybe, maybe we'll keep it there. We'll do something interesting. Uh, but yeah, and then like up here... Uh, this will be where the villagers come out and they'll fall here. And we'll just take the rails and we'll bring them to wherever they need to go and get them set up in here. But guys, the villager breeder is up and working. Thank you all so much for watching it yet again on the Ramble SMP server. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been your buddy, your pal, Super Turtle. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.